back to my channel today I'm here with another installment of what's in my makeup bag I will be showing y'all all of the products that I will be focusing on for the entire month of October y'all it literally feels like I just did what's in my makeup bag for the month of September like these months are really flying by but anyway if you're new to my channel everything that's um, going in this bag is pretty much makeup that I'll be wearing in my everyday day-to-day -day life pretty much makeup that I'm not reviewing on YouTube is what goes in this bag and um, I did pick up this bag on Amazon if it is available I will have it linked below if it is not linked that means it is not available but anyway y'all let's just get right into what's in my makeup bag. first I'm gonna start with primers and this month for primers I will be using the Smashbox photo finish priming water I cannot find this online anymore I don't know if it's been discontinued or what but this is pretty much like a primer in a setting spray I use this just to prime my face sometimes it's very lightweight it's a um, spray mist obviously um, this is not like a matte or very hydrating primer. Next primer I will be using is the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Primer um, I've spoken about this on my channel time and time again so I'm not gonna go into too much detail about it but this is a really good matte primer I feel like it is great for all skin types now it is on the pricey side but it is absolutely work and the next primer I will be using is another favorite of mine this is the YSL Touche Eclat Blur and Primer this is a favorite of mine um, I've spoken about this one as well so I'm not going to go into too much detail about it but these are the primers that I will be using this month For foundation I'm going to start using this Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Skin Tint. I totally forgot I had this in my makeup collection to recently. So I maybe used this like two or three times and I totally forgot about it. So I'm definitely wanting to put that to use this month. And I have the shade Deep 515. I'm going to do a quick swatch on my hand to show y'all exactly what it looks like. If you are ever interested in picking this up and use me as a shade reference, this is a spot on shade match um, for me. And I do have a review up on my channel of this as well. Using this month is the Clay de Po Radiant Cream Foundation. I tried this out on my channel a few months ago. I think like around the time it first was released. I liked it a lot. I wore it a couple times, but I haven't like used it consistently. And next foundation I will be wearing is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I did go out and get my correct shade, which is shade 15. I put this in my makeup bag last month, and I did not touch it at all. It's something about this foundation. It's like I don't want to wear it. I know that sounds crazy. I see it sitting on my vanity or in my makeup bag, and it's like I don't want to put this on. I don't know why I feel that way. But um, it is a good foundation. I know I've worn it like once or twice, maybe about two or three times, but I don't know, there's something about it where it's like, this is not grabbing my attention. Like, I don't want to wear this. So hopefully I put this in my bag this month and I actually use it instead of just ignoring it or just seeing it and setting it to the side. And next foundation I will be wearing this month is the House Labs um, Skin Tech Foundation. I reviewed this um, I didn't have my correct shade I went to Sephora swatched a few shades and I got the shade um, medium deep 425 so this is what I will be wearing this month um, this is another one I'm not like rushing to wear it even though this is a really good foundation like when I did wear it, I was really impressed with it but I don't know just don't want to wear it for some reason but this is um, a foundation that will be going in my makeup bag the next foundation that I will be wearing and I actually cannot wait to start back wearing this this is the Kojendo aqua foundation this is like one of my favorite foundations um, I recently mentioned this in a fall foundation video so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it. Okay so for concealer I decided to pull out the Charlotte Tilbury Radiant um, Concealer. Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. That's the correct name. Um, this is a decent concealer. The times that I did wear it I wasn't like in love with it but it has been sitting the last couple weeks so I do want to put it to use just in case if anybody asks me about it I have like a real solid opinion about the it. Next concealer I will be pulling out this month is the KVD 
conceal. I think this is a good apple. I don't know the exact name, but I don't use this too much. Um, it is a pretty decent conceal. I do want to use it um, some more, so this is what I'll be using. We'll be pulling out this Huda Beauty concealer just in case. I don't like those two and I don't want to use them for whatever reason. I have something that I know um, absolutely For will. setting powders, I decided to pull out this Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder. This is a decent powder. I'm not like crazy about it. I don't use it often. It has been sitting for a while, so I just decided to pull it out and use it. I actually had it for a while, so I want to use it before it actually expires. Now, I also decided to use this YSL. Um, loose setting powder now I will be mixing it with this um, Laura Mercier powder whenever I do use it because the shade of this I have is very light this is the shade 02 so I usually mix this with another um, powder just so I won't look crazy with a very light um, powder under my eye so yeah this is what I'll be using as well so we'll be using this Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder, and I will be using the shade Coffee Cake. Um, I'm not going to use this to like set under my eyes. I will use this to set all over my face. For bronzer, I'm only going to be using two bronzers, and I'm going to be using this cream bronzer from Rose Ink. I reviewed this when it first was released. I have the shade Capri. Um, I don't use this often, but this is a really nice um, cream bronzer, and I want to use it instead of just having it sitting. And I also will be pulling out this Tom Ford Skin Illuminating uh, Powder Duo. Now the shade in here is very deep. It actually looks more like a shade to use as contour, but when I use it, I use it as a bronzer. And I go in with a very light hand, and I'll be using also this um, shade to highlight with. Um, I've had this for a long time. I don't even know if this is still available. And for blush, I will only be using two products. I will be using this Gucci um, blush in the shade Warm Berry. I reviewed this on my um, channel. This is a very deep berry shade. Very pigmented. And I will also be using this Dolce & Gabbana blush. And I have the shade um, 310. This is a nice mauve um, shade. And this month for lips, I decided to keep it very simple. First lipstick I will be using is this makeup by Mario um, lipstick. I just talked about this in my um, lipstick, uh, brown lipsticks for fall. This was one of the lipsticks I used. I really like the shade of brown. I will be using this. I just love the way that this looks on me. Like this is a beautiful brown shade. And I also will be using this Gucci liquid lipstick. And this is the shade Lizzie Tiger. This is like a very bright orange shade. So I will be using this one as well. That's what that looks like. And I also decided to use one of these Dior um, Forever liquid lipstick i don't even know what shade this is this is the shade 200. now also we'll be using this dior lip addict lipstick and this is in the shade um 716 also this kind of will be like a nude shade on me that's what that looks like y'all that is it for today's video i didn't show any of the mascaras or like um lip liners or eyeliners that i'll be using just because i'll be using the same ones that i always started just to not even mention that in today's video but everything else that um i mentioned today will definitely be uh used for the entire month if y'all would like an update on any of the products that i use this month that i will be using this month leave that below in the comment section and most importantly don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.